So I was the cooler, and uh, whoa! What is that thing? I think it's dead. Why do you say that? Cause it has holes in it, like it's been shot. Oh, yeah, I can't see very well. My eyes are kind of small. Oh my god! How's it going, Miho? Are you injured? I take that as a sign of aggression. Well, I ain't gonna show you my d. Another one bites at the dust. I'm getting too old for this. I wish he was made in Japan, like me. Ladies and gentlemen, today's in-depth review is of the Good Dinosaur Galloping Butch. Let's do this. We're gonna start off with the top left, says the Good Dinosaur. At the top, you have a blue, rocky type outline with a butch on the right hand side kind of like jurassic world it's a very big artist rendition of butch it looks really good on the bottom right you have a bites roars and gallops little circle rock it's in purple galloping butch there at the middle it says warning choking hazard kids under three may die and then arlo and spot on the bottom left and as you see we have a try me which you can try the feature on the tail he gallops and the roar you also have a tail piece there on the back wall. Some of them have the tail actually in a different location towards the floor. So I'm gonna show you the pull down of the arm features. This is the demo. As you see, he sometimes is stuck with the teeth there. It's just a wet paint app. He's going back to the store, but he'll roar. We got long horns to round up. And if you push down this little back end of the tail, he'll gallop. So you can barely hear the little galloping feature on the feet, and you can definitely hear him roaring and saying his movie lines, which actually I don't really like because in the movie he gallops and his head just kind of bobs back and forth. He doesn't talk, he doesn't roar. It actually looks quite funny. And here, for some reason, Tomi decided to put the uh, mouth open, which I guess somehow in the inside mechanism triggers the dinosaur to roar and to talk. Packaging is supposed to sell you the product, and this does. The background is incredible. It is photorealistic, just like the film. This film is actually really odd. They have the greatest backgrounds, yet the dinosaurs are so cartoony. But this does a great job of selling you the product. On the right side, you have the good dinosaur with the photorealistic background and Arlo. You can kind of tell it has this like uh, lithograph type thing going on there. It's kind of like a laminate of the dinosaur. Really nice quality. On the top, you have a handle. It's incredible. Galloping Butch. Here's the back. You have a kid on the right and the dinosaur is taking up the whole center. The photorealistic background. Roar. You see him roaring. You see the kid holding the tail. Push the button for galloping action and sounds. He also has biting action. It says right here, Galloping Butch, a rugged Tyrannosaurus Rex, this intimidating rancher is a cattle rustler's worst nightmare. It's a multilingual. On the left side, it features Ramsey, and I forget the other dinosaur's name. On the bottom, it includes a bunch of mumbo jumbo, including the instructions where it says adult assembly is required. All you gotta do is put a tail into the tail, so it's not that big of a deal. So I just wanna say real quick about the background here. You can see how amazing this thing looks. You can probably use this as a diorama. So that's really great to have. You even have like these little bushes and trees and shrubs and stuff that they cut out and they put in the box here as placement to make it look even more awesome. The forest woodbrush had the exact same thing. I love the packaging here. Bottom is a grass, kind of like what Kenner had with the Lost World stuff. And the reason why I'm showing you this stuff is because this bottom is plastic. What? 
This bottom is plastic. That's crazy. All this is sturdy. Good God, Tommy, you're great. So it does come with instructions besides the one on the bottom of the box. This is gonna come underneath the little diorama packaging. So it says if you want more good dinosaur instruction videos and information, go to Tomi.com. To select mode, select English, sound effects, or off. Press and hold the button at the top of his tail to hear him gallop and trigger fun sounds from the movie. Push down his arms to hear more fun sounds. Stuff we already know. And here is how do you uh, replace the batteries. Important, don't use rechargeable batteries. Yeah, I know that because I used rechargeable batteries for my microphone one time and my microphone failed. So it's just a bunch of warning stuff. And there's the back. So nice of him to include it. First of all, he's really big. So he's gonna have a tab for the Try Me features. You wanna pull that out. And we have, looks like off, a speaker, and then English. I think that's what ENG is supposed to mean. It looks like his mouth is not closing. Is the toy supposed to be like that? I don't really like that. I liked it when I can move the mouth to the, uh, what I was saying and stuff. What does this mean? So it looks like the uh, sound effect thing is just sound effects. That's kind of cool. So you can either talk or you can roar or you can talk and you can roar. Well, that was new. I'm liking all these roars. And I do not like the fact that, uh, maybe it helps that I can, you know, put his, you know, for, for a quick second, because the wet paint, I can put his head down, and it kind of holds it. I kind of like that ability to just do that. But I can't really. You're also going to have to assemble the tail. All we get is this little, like, tip thing. So, boom, there it is. Let's see how he stands. Because he has articulated knees and he gallops, I don't think he's going to stand very well. Wow, are you kidding me? This is how he stands. He's in a posture where he's running and he's standing. I don't know if it's gonna stay like that. Maybe over time it's going to fall, but for now he's standing. Uh, this is something that Hasbro could never probably do. They have dinosaurs that don't lean forward and stand. They have dinosaurs that lean backward and can't stand at all. For some reason, Tomy can make a dinosaur that can be in a running position and is standing. I'm appalled. I'm speechless. Is this really happening uh, right now? It looks like after time, the, uh, the head's gonna go back yeah. down. Yes, thank God. Whoa. This toy is amazing. I'm, I'm gonna say right now, I, I didn't even get into the paint job, the sculpt or anything, but I, I, I Holy crap, oh my god, this is so good. Sorry folks, I'm definitely keeping this guy. So let's talk about his sculpt. His eyes actually aren't black slits. They're actually very small eyeballs. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. Even in the promo art, he is featured with some eyeballs. For some reason here, they kind of got a little lazy, just put black paint instead of some eyeballs. They could have totally done that. But here is this side. He's got yellow teeth. The teeth are great. They're like a soft rubber. Oh man, I could touch that all day, that's great. Inside the mouth, you can see that he has ridges on the top of the jaw, the little jowls here he has. It's all painted pink inside the tongue. Really nice. He's got his little tooth on the side there, just like in the film. Nice little scar there. You have a little scarring underneath there, and boom, speaker is hidden. Great stuff, unlike the hybrids T-Rex is gonna have a speaker on the side, so stupid. Here's his other side of his head. He has a lot of scarring. Some scarring right there. Doesn't really continue on the underbelly, but uh, he has a bunch of old like neck wrinkles. 
It continues over here a little bit, kind of stops. He's got some scarring on his side. A little freckles type thing going on, some more scarring. There's a circle here, I don't know what that's for. Maybe a, some kind of mechanism that they put in and they had to cover it up and they covered it up with that. And if you notice, there are no screw holes with this dinosaur. They covered them up. There's a boom right there. There, 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 there. They're all covered up. There, that is what's called, I care about my customers and I wanna make quality toys. There, there, and here at the tip of the tail. And uh, if I didn't cover these over here as well as that one and the other side of the jaw. It's really not that noticeable, and it's pretty much a cheap fix for the toy company, but you know Hasbro wants to save a couple pennies because they're cheap. The two fingers do not have paint on the claws. It kind of stinks, but oh well. He has beige here, the top of the head. It goes down to the jaw, looks pretty good. And underneath the belly, he's got the same beige. And the rest is a brown besides the yellow freckles. He does have a little bit of a darker brown here. It looks good, there's some nice detailing. The only thing is just like, I'm looking at a toy here, I'm not looking at uh, an actual dinosaur. It is a very cartoony dinosaur, but alas. On the arms, you have some decent little scarring. That's, that's decent detailing. We do have a line here on the belly. And look where, there are the trademarks underneath there, where they should be. This guy's pretty beefy, kind of heavy. Not too heavy though. And uh, I can tell this is a sturdy toy. Oh look, a screw hole with a screw. And it's not hidden. Where? At the bottom of the foot, where it should be. You have a cutout here with some factory stuff. None on this other side. You can see that this is probably the foot goes down and is for balancing. And this foot actually right here, this toe on the right is farther down for that balancing stuff. You see that, guys? So when he's doing this, that other toe right here is keeping him balanced in this running position. That is engineering. So it kind of stinks there is no paint on the hands or the toes, but there is some you know decent detailing. It's a T-Rex foot, and here are the lines on the feet. So you can see the knees here. It's a nice ribbing from the shins to the knee. It even continues on the little articulation piece. Looks like he has two torn ACL surgeries. They did a good job of ribbing this, and then it kind of continues in with the knee. Probably about right there, when it's posed. It kind of stays there, and there's the posing, and it's nearly matched over there. So I think, you know, there are lines here to show the, you know, the knee articulation galloping feature. I think they did a good job masking it. You know, you got line there, there's a line there, a big line for the tail. Here are the buttons I showed you earlier, some more scarring. You got a big cutout for the galloping feature. Lots of scarring on the tail, and then of course the piece we popped in. First of all, beautiful covering of the battery compartment. So you got your, of course you got your cutout there for the tail, you got scarring, scarring, scarring everywhere. Of course the tail piece that you put in, and then you have the line here for the tail. Looks like my guy is a little loose, but it's okay. The only thing I'm really not digging is the, uh, the holes here when you to zip tie the package for it to stay together. That's the only real negative I don't like. I mean, I wish this was on the bottom over here somewhere, but for engineering purposes, if that's all they can do, that's all they can do. Everything else is pretty damn immaculate. The, the batteries here and the tail, I think this is one amazing figure. I just can't believe that he stands in a running position. He's, so he still roars after taking the demo thing out when he gallops. So this is indeed some kind of like mechanism inside of him that uh, makes him roar when his mouth moves. I'm not gonna lie though, I wish he stood like this or like in a neutral position. I love neutral position action figures of dinosaurs because I just assume over time, it is good for now, but I think over time, if you have him in this running position, he'll topple over to the left. Right now he's doing fine, but I just wish he was just stood like this. That'd been excellent. Here's Forrest Woodbrush. I'm talking to Butch. We got long horns to round up. We do. Oh God. 
So there's Forest Woodbrush, and there is Butch, and they're in dang good scale to one another. I really like these figures. Oh my god! Maybe with the Young Rex, but maybe not so much with the Ankylosaurus. Eh, kinda, but not really. You can see this dinosaur is going to be very cartoony to all the guys I'm about to compare them to. Butch and a three and three quarters Paul Kirby and a four and a quarter Kenner guy. And um, probably more on scale to the three and three quarter than the Kenner guy, but you still use Kenner guys. Titan Class Blue, not really in scale. Play compatible, not really. Series 1 Trike, no, but it'd be funny to have a crossover. The Stegosaurus a little bit more. The Stegosaurus looks a little more uh, cartoonish than the Trike does. Utah Raptor, eh, maybe a little bit play compatible, not much. Not in scale at all, obviously. The Stomp and Strike and the Butch. Uh, that sounds weird. The Stomp and Strike, it's just, I wouldn't say very durable of a toy. The Butch, I would say is very durable of a toy, very thick. If you're probably banging it against a wall, it wouldn't break. Meanwhile, the Stomp and Strike, you can probably bounce that against the wall and it totally would shatter into a million pieces. Uh, it depends on what movie you like. If you like Jurassic World more than Good Dinosaur, which I do, you should probably prefer the Stomp and Strike. However, I like Jurassic World a lot better than Good Dinosaur. Good Dinosaur is an okay film, but this Butch is hands down a better T-Rex than the Stomp and Strike. And they are roughly the same price, MSRP. The Butch is 40 bucks, and Stomp and Strike was 35 and now it's down to 30 There's the Chomping and Butch. You can see how just lazy this T-Rex is compared to a pretty nicely engineered piece over here with the Tomy. The Thrasher T-Rex and the Butch Galloping. Uh, if you want to have a crossover, it's compatible. Besides that, the Thrasher is just so beautiful and probably one of the best T-Rexes ever. This Butch is up there though. This is a nice toy, a really nice toy. So what am I gonna give Galloping Butch out of 10? I'm going to give him a nine for the fact that he might start falling over with this toe thing. I really wish it was neutral. I'm gonna ignore some of the flaws of, the only problem I really have is these cutouts here for the zip ties for the packaging. Besides that, I don't care about the rest of the flaws, like the inaccurate eyes. I really love that they patched up the screw holes. Yes, I wish the little switch was on the bottom rather than the side. However, it is easy to access, so you gotta think of it that way. Besides that, this toy is incredible. This is actually like warming my heart. It makes me feel like a little kid again. This is how awesome this toy is. If you have not purchased this yet, you are sleeping on it, even if you didn't like the movie. This is one incredible figure. I thought about reviewing this and taking it back. There's no way I'm taking it back. So it gets a nine out of 10. Gets the loved it seal of approval for the show. Thank you guys very much for watching. Rah, rah. <laughs>